Hello folks, I'm back again and in this video I'm going to show you a very simple technique right? Now, I'll only be using one colour and one brush and I'll show you the effect that I'm trying to achieve It's based on a painting I did which was a uh, what do you call that one? It's a it's a long it's a long painting. It's not like a portrait. It's it's longer again. Uh, panoramic. That's it. I did a panoramic of this one, and I was quite happy with the results. So I'm going to try and capture it again here on a canvas, right? And this was all I did, right? I just added the paint right now the thing about art is people say to have a piece of art in your house is like a vocal point where people can discuss the art and say well I'll look at art and that and that looks like art and that looks like art well that's what I'm hoping for right so if you notice here what the paint is doing naturally. It could have a bit to do with the, the knack of the paint application with the strokes, you know, the the thin and doing of the paint and the natural effect of the sky coming through based on a brush stroke. I don't know if you can see it fully visibly, I can see it. I'm just going to just keep adding the paint and what I want to try and do is make it thin in places use a natural white of the board the, the primed board or canvas where it allows for lighter patches to come through, right? Now the way these lighter patches, you can imagine that there been a moon up behind the clouds and coming through. I don't know if you can see that effect there I'm getting. That's just with thinning the paint. It allows you to kind of imagine. Let me check. Ah, you can see that. But if you imagine without draw, drawing or painting the moon, but having it kind of implied, as it were, you know, like a, a kind of moonlit sky. We are hint of the moon, you know, and the rest kind of if you apply like darker paint, that could be like, like clouds and stuff. Right, so I'll just apply a wee bit of darker paint here, add a bit more paint, I should say. I'm going to just make it just a wee bit darker just for the application of more paint so I'm going to bring it right down here doesn't matter about the straightness of the line at this point because I'm going for a a kind of no line on the horizon type effect you know where the rest of the painting happens and blends with the sea, or the sky blends with the sea and comes down kind of naturally as it would appear in nature. Right, so just adding the paint here, lighting them darker in places, 
just the gay effect of clouds, you know, like a suggestion of clouds, as it were. Maybe some brewing up, a rain, a, a storm coming in. But again, you would keep this light here because this is this is where the noon light is coming through. And I hope you can see it. You can see it. it's coming together quite well. Now, like I said, I'm only using the one colour. <clears throat> So here, this side, I would make it a wee bit kind of darker. Just to show the contrast between here, where the moonlight is coming through. You know, you could just, you could do that, you could just add the darkness to the lighter patches for suggestion again. You know, and here you would want it right thin. Just again, the suggestion of cloud. Now you would concentrate on the division line. Not too much. You would want it to appear kind of natural. And you see that effect I'm getting there. I'm getting the darkness of the clouds with the moon coming through. Right, so I'm happy with that. So, with the, with the bottom part, or what would be the water, you would just add what a thicker line here. Right. Just use that line there as a guide. And of course if you if you're using this technique to build a painting, I mean I know it might sound a bit mad, build a painting, but when I say build a painting, I mean like in layers like building it up like once the water's done you could maybe add a wee boat or something you know so this is here this is just again you've got a division line so after working on a division line you're trying to replicate what's happening in the sky you know reflecting on the water. So remember here it's lighter. So you would thin your paint down. And make it appear lighter on the water. Give that illusion. So I'm just going to put plenty of paint on a brush and go for a full thin in here. Right, just thinning as much as I can the broad strokes because I want to see it to be kind of lighter. 
up in the sky <clears throat> through using the one colour of paint but this technique of amount of paint applied you know and again kind of mirroring what's going on up here and you see it's a bit darker you're not wanting a loss of effect when you use too much paint where it just appears matte so you would thin it The amazing thing I find about painting is once the, the painting's finished and it's dried, what else you see in it? And I'll go back to the, the vocal point. Say you're having friends around and you're having a party and Everybody's having a drink and celebrating or whatever and somebody starts to talk about the art and then let people see different things in it. But the panoramic version of this I did in my living room wall. I can see all sorts in it like Archangels and my Archangel Michael in the clouds and and different stuff, you know. And that all makes good for a, a good photo talking point about the art, you know. So yeah, that looks, that's looking alright. So just bring it down here to finish. And you probably notice that this one took a fraction of the time of the other paintings I've been working on. Now that brush stroke effect there you're not wanting. See where the brush just comes to a stop here. You want to blend that. You want to give you illusion of water moving still but but moving and capturing the light from the moon it's head up above and the clouds so I'm just adding there Break what I'll call this. A wee bit near. Just thin down and put in a lightness of where the moon's hitting it. If any of you remember the snooker during the 80s and the 90s with the commentator Dennis Taylor I think I'm going to grab his quote here and see Now I'm finished. That that looks just about perfect. And that's it done. You know, that's one colours used to get the effect. And if if you if you're building it, like I said, if you're building it in stages, you would have the undercoat of the basic idea 
then you could maybe put a wee bit of the moon coming through and add more light, a lot of kind of very light blue colour or white colour and build it up and put wee rocks and stones or dolphins or whatever but I'm happy with that and that's how it's going to exist going forward okay so thanks for your time have a wonderful day don't be miserable and make everybody else miserable be good bye bye